Hello, you beautiful people. It's me in front of here, and today, today, once again, we're a double upload for I think the first time in the history of this channel. But uh, I, I, I as you've already uh, seen, I, uh, I uh, made that video about the new Pokemon Snap trailer, and but this, this is this is the real shit. This this is why I started recording today. Like the, the Pokemon Snap thing, that was just at, that was that was like excess goods. This this is the main course. Uh, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Diamond and Pearl are coming to this year to the Nintendo Switch. Um, the, this is con confirmed by Central Pokemon leaks, which is arguably the most credible uh, leak source on the internet. Um, I mean, really, it's not even like leaks. It's more just I, actually, yeah, it is really leaks. Like. This, uh, this, this stuff, it, it, it's confirmed. Like, I, I, if you don't know about them, there are other people that can explain them better. I don't know, I don't know these guys, like, um, in and out. But I do know that Centro is credible. And we're set right here. We are getting Diamond and Pearl on the Switch this year. What that means, hopefully that means remakes. That should mean remakes. I don't know why the fuck they'd port a game from 2007 to the Switch in 2021. You ask me, pretty sure that means remakes. Um, I, uh, we're supposed, uh, according, uh, and this is according to a different guy, which is, uh, uh, posted on, uh, Centro. A Pokemon Direct is supposed to come next month. It hasn't been revealed yet. Um, there, there are definitely some other YouTube videos I've seen about it that I just didn't cover. I didn't decide to cover this, but... Either way, I next month we're getting a Pokemon Direct, and I think it's gonna reveal the remakes of Diamond and Pearl. Now, uh, there, there's more stuff uh, maybe be uh, shown up here. Uh, the the Pokemon Pearl uh, Diamond Pearl Pokemon .com domain has been enabled, which means that which means that, that that is going to be a website. Like after the reveal trailer, which is going to come next month, that will be that that website will be created. Um, because the domain has already been enabled, which means that they are ready. Um, means that there's kind of there before. Bin only. The Diamond Pearl subdomain was enabled. All others are not resolved, like these ones. Um, the domain has not been disabled. Someone messed it up by putting it up so early, which even shows it even more. They took it back down because they didn't want people seeing this, which just proves it even further that, yeah, these are remakes. This isn't like some crazy port or anything. Like... They wouldn't take it down if it was a port. They would take it down if it was a new, if it was a remake. That that's massive. Um, Pokey Experto, I know that's another big one. Uh, Diamond and Pearl subdomain was activated on January twelfth, twenty twenty one. It is not an, it was not an old subdomain. If it was an old one, that'd be the one from the time of like the original um the uh, Diamond and Pearl, but it's not. This is a new one. Um. And uh, obviously, the uh, I'm pretty sure that both these both these people are Hispanic, or at least their accounts are, and then it gets translated. I know that Poke Experto obviously is. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, and then obviously, fifteenth birthday of the of this account, stuff like that. Um, that that's pretty much the um, that, that's pretty much like a, as far as it goes. I'm pretty sure it doesn't go much farther when it comes to. Um, when it comes to Diamond and Pearl stuff, but this all makes sense considering it is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, and I believe the 15th year, no, not, fi I can't do math, um, it is, I don't think it's a milestone for Diamond and Pearl itself, actually, wait, no, I think the game's come out in 2006, which in that case, it'd be 15, uh, so, 25th anniversary of Pokemon in general, 15th of Diamond and Pearl, perfect for a Diamond and Pearl remake, um, they, they were, they created a trailer that, like, it had a bunch of Easter eggs and stuff like that. I watched it on my own time, wasn't gonna make a video about it, wasn't that important. Um, either way, especially with this, it, it we're getting Diamond Pearl remakes this year. Which, there are two, two reactions I have. Thank God I've been waiting for remakes of this game for so long, I love Diamond and Pearl. And second, please don't fuck this up, Game Freak. Like, you, we know that you had, that you had your backup team make the DLC for Sword and Shield. Just, like, get the backup team make Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. That is fine. Just please. How can, how do you fuck up a Diamond and Pearl remake? Like, 
You don't have to change any of the story. You just gotta make the game look pretty and keep the fucking battle frontier in. If they take it out again, I'm gonna be pissed. Everyone's gonna be pissed. Like, I think after the shitstorm that was raised from Auras, I think they know to keep the battle frontier in. Which, that'll be great. First time we've ever had a 3D battle frontier. They have not been able to do a good battle system since the battle frontier. Let's be honest. Nothing is going to ever outdo the battle frontier. It's, it was great. Just... <laughs> I, I honestly, I, I want to believe that there is no way they could fuck this up. How did, how? I, honestly, I think it'd be more impressive if they fucked up Diamond and Pro remakes and made them bad than they did keep them just as good. Like, I, not knock on wood, but I really, really don't, I really don't think they're going to do that. I think that this is going to be really good. They're going to be really good games. They're going to sell well. Um, as well as remakes do. I think this is going to be a really good step in the right direction for Pokemon. Um, I'm really hoping they don't bring Dynamax back and we bring Mega Evolutions. I really hope that they do that. I don't want Dynamax in my Gen 4 games. Um, they can stay in Sword and Shield. Don't want them. Um, so, at, at this point, it's just time to sit back and wait. I mean, really, we, we don't have an exact date of when this Direct will be um at some point in february i'm assuming it's going to be early february but once again you never know um so yeah i'll 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 stay on the lookout for that um you can definitely expect a video in, in um, whenever that happens in a month um and yeah i guess that this is it hasn't truly begun yet but we're, we're kind of getting there like this, this is kind of the beginning of uh something really new I haven't really felt this since uh since well, I guess twenty nineteen really with the build up to Sword and Shield. Which I mean, even then the build up to Sword and Shield was abnormally quiet. Although granted, it's compared to Sun and Moon, which was fucking everything. Uh, I really wonder how they're gonna show this off, especially with since it's a remake. Like I wasn't, I wasn't even like watching YouTube really when um when Oraz came out. Like I I wasn't really i i was yeah really the build up to sun and moon was really what got me into youtube i mean my account was made after sun and moon got released i believe um so i don't know exactly what the coverage was like for or i mean i sort of know but i don't i i never experienced it real time so it's gonna be interesting um it's gonna be really interesting so yeah i i think uh with all that being said, I think that's where we're gonna cap this video off here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a lookout on Centro, see if they get anything else within the next month, really, because um, there isn't there there isn't much else so far. Um, but it it has begun. The train hasn't left the station, but it's turning on the engine. So yeah, I think with all that being said. Ab Inferno. Also, you beautiful, lovely people again next time.